What's up, guys? Uh, Kyler here. Joe. And uh, this is this week's version or uh, episode of Teched Out. Um, well, Joe, you ready to get into this? Let's do it. Let's update him. All right. So, you know, starting off here, it looks like uh, AT&T tells customers to change their phones or they won't work anymore, huh? Yeah, dude, you, better, cha- you better change that phone now or uh, what's the point, you know? Or how about you just switch carriers, maybe? I don't know. I, f- I feel like that's a threat. <laughs> yeah, like you buy something new or else. Yeah. Like, that's not that. I mean, what? What they must have some big cojones to you know tell their customers that especially over an email most of these people according to this article look like they thought they were getting scammed which i would too at this point um so yeah what exactly is going on here uh so it looks like they're sending out some emails lightly stating that updates are needed for their phones or again it's not going to work um but the gist of it is is their 3g network they're just getting rid of that but that's not Mm -hmm. until Looks like late February 22 or 2022. So, oh, yeah, I see. Yeah, they're using that scare tactic of having people upgrade, which at this time frame, people are kind of holding tight to their money. So, yeah, good luck, good luck with that one, ATT. Um, with everything going on, you know, yeah, like, exactly. who knows? It's like, really, you're, you're, you know, you can't offer, I don't know, some examples here. They're just saying either upgrade or get out kind of thing so which i i don't think that's a way to you know treat your customers in my opinion like i'm sure some of those customers are pretty loyal customers that have been there for you know years on years so i mean i will (sighs) say this though if you happen to be one of those customers uh and you're whatever you know final straw kind of thing obviously do some research look elsewhere uh at least for me personally google google fi for a service me too um so yeah we can kind of both talk to that uh how much do you pay for your bill kyler if you don't mind me asking Ooh, so i don't i didn't pick the unlimited plan i picked the uh flex plan Mm -hmm. so uh my my bill it actually varies quite a bit but if we're if we're heavily using data Mm -hmm. um somewhere around 120 bucks i want to say for two phones and then we also bought our phones through google so we pay for those as well okay on the same bill Okay, and then on my end, so like kind of the cheapest you could probably go with two phones. I'd probably say, what sixty or so, give or take on how much data again yeah. you're using. Like Kyler said, because um, yeah, fiance and that stuff, she's got the phone through Google, and then I have mine bought outright. Which then, if I'm pretty good about using Wi-Fi and only use about two gigs of data, that's about a seventy-five dollar bill. So obviously it helps and pays to do your research in case you know companies yeah. like AT and T are trying to force you into upgrading for a new new phone you know a thousand dollars or whatever but obviously i feel like at this point too if you're hanging on to one that's using 3g then first of all props to you you know yeah if it it still works (laughs) um speed test that for me i'm curious yeah i'm actually really curious 3g if again if it's got wi-fi then you know (laughs) you got enough enough said right there so you have obviously you're using it you don't need anything better um yes there are better options out there i guess in terms of 4g lte all that good stuff and then 5g right around the corner yeah right around well the corner. actually android at least in too. some places yeah android too if you're an android user can you can get one of those on the cheap whether it be through amazon or anything like that as they're mentioning here the galaxy s10e um anything like that for you know 500 or less there's even new phones now mm-hmm. that are coming out at 500 or less that are that are pretty damn good in my opinion um, oh yeah um also too i guess if you're using an iphone they have the iphone what se2 that came out and that's 400 bucks so Which is a killer deal for an iphone can. yeah that is yeah. super good it has the same exact processor um basically the brain of the iphone 11 um and all that good stuff you're just mm-hmm. gonna have an older body but i don't know if you're hanging on to a 3g phone or any older phone at this point. If you really don't care about that, then there's it, opportunities it, to upgrade for, you know, 400 to, or less even. So. Oh, yeah. And the used market is a great place for a really good phone, actually. I mean, definitely if you were to go 
buy a used phone, go check it out, test it, make sure the touchscreen works, make sure your headphone jack works if it comes with one, your charging port, all that. But uh, yeah, send I've been able to land. Make sure that works. Yeah, yeah, I've been able to land some pretty pretty decently priced you know pixels off the used marketplace that I've been happy with so far. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's but, why uh, I was trying to make a big deal about that iPhone because, like you were saying, that used market, the iPhone holds its value so high just because it's the only one that's running iOS, obviously. So mm-hmm. four hundred bucks can't beat that. But on the other hand, you got you know expensive phones like this Galaxy Note twenty here. Um, yeah, that one's not going to be so cheap. No, no, not at all. <laughs> so we it's got a, a leaked render of this Galaxy 20, or Galaxy Note 20, I should say. It's going to be a monster. Yeah, uh, it's kind of, personally though, it's kind of getting hard to differentiate the uh, difference between the Notes and the S series, personally. Kind of at least the front yeah. and all stuff is kind of looking the same. They look very similar. So I I do believe though that this is the phone that is going to be optimized for XCloud though. Yeah, so this phone. Let's see if this article states it anywhere. But because of the internal specs and all that horsepower it can have, um, twelve gigabytes of RAM, and then there's a version with sixteen gigabytes of RAM. I want to say. I can see that. That's a yeah. Samsung's are notorious for the having lots of RAM, and not only that, but. Is this one going to have... Did they get rid of expandable storage on these at all? I'm trying to remember. I, I want to say yes. I, most phone companies are doing away with that. Yeah, because I remember... I think the S20 series still has it, if I believe. Mm-hmm. Um, so obviously you can upgrade it to a terabyte of memory. And if you need that, then I'd like to know exactly what you're putting on there. Hopefully 4K movies of some sort, I guess, but... I'm pretty stoked to see how this does with xCloud, though. I mean, optimized for xCloud, what does that mean exactly? You know? Like, is yeah, it just, just powerful enough off... to run it perfectly? Or... Yeah. Are they just going off the horsepower that it has? All the CPU? You know, that Snap- Snapdragon 865? Yeah. All that good stuff? Um, it's going to be a beast. Oh, yeah. I think Samsung, the Note series especially, is they typically the most powerful in the Android yes. world. I believe they yes. are. So, or at least pretty close to. Yeah. I don't really know anything else that kind of competes with them. The only one I can think of maybe OnePlus and the McLaren edition. Because that usually has about 12 gigs of RAM. But again, mm-hmm. you're you're paying paying for it. so You're paying a lot for it too. Yeah. But uh, yeah. So obviously this is going to come out. Expect that to be a, a pretty penny. So. Oh, yeah. It, uh, over a thousand bucks. Yeah, you know. My my Note 8 was <clears throat> at least a thousand bucks, I mm-hmm. want to say. It was a good phone, though. It was a good phone. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was funny. I saw a meme a couple days ago or something like that when someone was comparing, you know, you got a thousand dollar phone or thousand dollar PC. Hmm. <laughs> Which one? Exactly. Thousand dollar PC. Yeah, exactly. Now that I have a PC. Depends on what you're using it for. But again, if you're just making texts and phone calls, then you might be able to you might be that same person that's using that 3G phone for AT&T. Yeah. Go get a $400 <laughs> phone. You'll be good. You'll be fine. Go get a $200 phone. You'll be fine yeah, if that's all you're doing. You can upgrade those every so often instead of, you know, just the $1,000 one and then it's outdated in a year kind of thing. Is something, kind of, uh, something kind of funny about that. I was, I'm was i looking into a new AC for my house. It gets really hot. Mm-hmm. I was considering buying a $600 AC or two $300 ACs. It's like... Okay. what? You know, <laughs> yeah. Either is way, less you're paying more the same or price. Is yeah. more more. Yeah, I guess well, all depending know. on how they do, but yeah, that is true. All righty, though. So some let's see. some big news today, yeah. Yeah, so we want to see. You know, that we're speaking of X Cloud, all this other stuff. What what the hell is even X Cloud? Well, we got Xbox over here. They just had their showcase today, and my oh my, did they have a lot to show off? <laughs> what? Well, yeah, a good amount. <laughs> they have enough a good to make amount. me excited. Yes. Yeah. I will see I'm where sh- PlayStation fans are coming from because I will say the PlayStation event, yes, it showed, I feel like, nothing but gameplay. It was pretty yeah. good about that. Like, it might have been, like, a two-minute clip, but it was still gameplay. Mm-hmm. Um, whereas Xbox, they come out swinging with the Master Chief here, Halo Infinite. Yeah. Play this guy in the background. Um, kind of fast forward here a little bit. 
so you can kind of see what's going on. But this guy, so Master Chief and all that stuff, Halo, Halo Infinite, supposedly going to be, what, games as a service, right? Mm-hmm. So, yeah, no no Halo Infinite 2, no nothing like that. Um, running in it's a gonna new, be... new engine, so. Yeah, it's going to be similar to, like, uh... oh, what's another game that's kind of like that? Like, uh... Destiny? Yeah, is similar De- to- Destiny yeah. is a great example. Granted, I'm hoping they drop off the Destiny 2 because kind of doesn't make sense if it's a games of service, but if you're used mm-hmm. to it already, then you're used to it. But um, yeah, Microsoft comes out swinging with Halo, uh, showing off the big guns here, uh, showing off a little bit of this open world what Halo has, which is really not used to. So. No, it's going to be really, really different than most other Halo, well, all other Halo, Halo games, except for ODST. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It does look gorgeous, though. Yes. So I'll skip ahead a little bit here just so we can kind of see that open world. There we go. So, yes, they even have... You can watch this yourself. I'll put a link in the description, all the games that Xbox showed, all that good stuff. Mm -hmm. Um, But they showed this off. The stream was only at 1080p, but you're able to watch it right here at 4K. So you can always go... Yeah, I believe after the stream... I believe after the stream, they dropped trailers for all the games in uh, higher quality. Yeah, just because, yeah, unfortunately, streaming just takes a lot of bandwidth to represent that. So, uh, yeah, I'll pause it right here. So, showing the open world a little bit and that stuff, when they showed it at the showcase, they said, uh, I think afterwards or during it, that this open world is about two times the amount of those last two Halo games or something. Mm -hmm. So... Uh, and I noticed too when he walked off the ship, it gave you three options of which to go visit first. So that's kind of nice. I saw that that you can do that. Um, so it'll be interesting. I did like the they did have some good sound effects with that warthog, all that good stuff. I was actually really impressed with that. As mm-hmm. soon as he jumped in that warthog, it it sounded like a vehicle, you know. Yeah, and then as it's showing here, he's taking that warthog and he's going to go off this massive, massive jump. Too bad he can't do backflips, but. Um, <laughs> I'm kind of curious if they were able to, and I would assume they would, be able to borrow some tech from Forza and all that stuff. Because they've oh, used yeah. the Warthog in a, you know, a Forza game before, a racing game. Um, so, yeah, it sounded fantastic. But, mm-hmm. yeah, all this gameplay and stuff, ugh, I can't wait to play this. Not only is it coming on Xbox, though, it's finally going to be on PC, which uh, is a pretty big relief. Yeah, so all you PC players out there thinking, man, I need to buy an Xbox for the new Halo. No, you don't. You just sign up for Game Pass and you'll be able to download it and play it. Mm-hmm. And uh, you won't have to spend the 60 bucks. You won't have to go buy a Series X. Mm-hmm. Microsoft loves you, okay? Yeah, they just don't sign care up for where you play as long as you're playing their games. Yep, yep. Simple as that. So, yeah, you could, you know, what they would prefer is you spend it on, you know, the Series X because it is a powerful machine and all that stuff. It's going to um, be a beast. Yeah, that's going to be pretty powerful. Again, we're waiting on the price, so we'll keep you updated on that. But uh, yeah, you can take your PC if you got one now. Download Game Pass. I will say it is five bucks, but for five bucks a month, you could either you know play Halo, play any of the other hundreds of games on there for five bucks, and be happy mm-hmm. with that. Or if you add end up liking the game, go ahead spend that sixty. Or if you have Game Pass, they give it to you at a discount. Um, even if it's on there. If it's leaving, yep. yes, they'll give you a discount. You can buy it whenever. But even if it's on there, you can you know, support that developer and buy it straight away so you own it in a sense. Yep. Game, pa- Game Pass is just a good way to check out new games, new yep. developers. Um, they put a lot of indie games on there. They put a lot of... Uh, there's actually quite a bit of uh, trip or AAA titles on there, too. Mm-hmm. It's pretty impressive what they've all added to that over the course of it being out. Yeah, and it was nice, too, with the showcase, even Phil Spencer, the CEO of Xbox and that stuff, and all the article, this article is going to list it as well. All these games that are shown off are going to be on Game Pass. So if you were, Yeah, if you were going to think, you know, like, if Game Pass didn't exist and I want to check something out, um, either, you know, borrow it for, from a buddy or something, maybe the C, you know, the, the disc, or, you know, I'm spending 60 bucks per game, like, this is going to get expensive, but if the game games pa- are still 60 bucks. 
Exactly, yeah. So that's yeah. another big deal. Developers now with these new machines and all that stuff, they're thinking, hmm, with all these costs and such, I, I can I can charge 70 and we'll see if people buy it. Um, who's that company? I think it's 2K. Mm-hmm. I think they're testing it out with NBA 2K. If you know, it's I think they stated it's going to be 70 bucks, uh, which coming from them is a little odd because in their game itself, most games nowadays have microtransactions. You know, you can buy cosmetic stuff, anything like that in game skins and yeah, all um, that good stuff. But theirs basically looks like a gambling machine. So it's <laughs> not the greatest of looks, and in terms of huge you know, controversy around that too. Yeah, in terms of seventy bucks and all that stuff, it's definitely making others, uh, other developers, I should say, kind of speak out about it. Um, for example, Ubisoft, who makes Assassin's Creed and all those other games, uh, they stated that they're going to be putting their games at sixty for next gen. So mm-hmm. obviously, we can expect more to state their follow opinion. suit. Yeah, yeah. So. But yeah, Game Pass, oh, you can't beat it, especially on PC. Let's see, five bucks on PC, ten bucks on just the Xbox system. If you mm-hmm. want to play on both, then it's fifteen for what's called Game Pass Ultimate. Um, which then that also allows you coming in, what do we got? September, I believe. They're gonna put X Cloud on there. Yes. So then, yes, you could use that that note twenty once it's out and try xcloud on that and take yep. halo for example on the road which is uh really exciting yeah <laughs> i really wanted them to put xcloud on uh on the switch but it doesn't look like that's happening anymore yeah d- uh, yeah phil kind of tried to squash those rumors um, yeah it is kind of funny though because in the future in my mind i feel like xbox will become xbox game pass but they'll just label it Xbox and it'll pull mm-hmm. up just like Netflix or YouTube does on your smart TV right now as an app and you just play away. It, so. it sounds like, though, that X- or Microsoft's trying to do what Google can't. couldn't with Stadia. Yeah. Or, I, 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 like they're not dead yet. I didn't yet, want to say but... can't because they're not done yet, but yeah. we'll see. We'll see. You know, I, I, they, they've done a really good job with xCloud so far, though, I must say. Mm hmm. Yeah, so but they we'll uh, they showed off going. a couple cool games during this, you know. Um, I think the next one that I I'm most hyped for was shown right at the end, and uh, it was. Uh, what do you it mean that one more thing? What's that? <laughs> that one yeah, more I know, moment. right? Like, come on, we knew it was coming. Just just spill your guts. Everyone has to have that one more moment. There was a second there though that I didn't think it was coming. Like I noticed there was like I think three or four minutes left. As and soon they as I saw it Fable say, yet, yeah, and I'm as like, soon no! as I saw it say Playground Games presents, I was like, that's that's Fable. It's been yep, rumored I they were too. making it. I was like, done. I got so excited. They really didn't show much at all. No, they didn't but, show uh, a date. They didn't show anything. But just no. acknowledging it, boom, that it's being made. I'll I'll, I'll take that. <laughs> and it's not going to be a Fable Legends. I hope. I yeah, really no, really no hope. Fable Four here. It's just because it states Fable. I'm that should be a clean reboot. So we should be yes. good. Which I am totally accepting of, like, as just don't mess it up, Microsoft. Like, this is a big title for you guys. This is a big opportunity for you guys, too, because it's a pretty decently sized IP that hasn't been around for a while. And this could bring a lot of attention to your brand. So exactly, please yeah. do this well. It's one of my favorite games, too. So I'm pretty passionate about this. Yeah. So hopefully, again, Game Pass, man. Game Pass. Yeah. Day not. one. Like, it's a freaking huge game typically fable is rpg mm-hmm. and all this other stuff and oh uh, spent you know 10 at most you know 15 bucks on to play this game <laughs> it's like dude if yeah, you play it's... two games a year you've basically you know there's 120 bucks you could have spent on the actual game itself but you decided yep. you know i'm going to spend it in game pass over the year so i saw a uh um Oh, I can't remember what it what uh what it said exactly, but it was like uh it was like gamer tip of the year. Uh download as many games off Game Pass until your Xbox is full or something like that. <laughs> I was like, Yep, that's pretty much what I do. I <laughs> I yeah. fill the Xbox and then I play them if they if I like them and if I don't then I delete them and download a new one. Exactly, just shuffle. I kinda almost wish they had a they break it down by category pretty well. 
but mm-hmm. I almost wish they had a kind of a Google option of like, I'm feeling lucky. Oh you yeah. Just, you know, like, click on something and it, let's try maybe something with, maybe random. with X cloud could, cause then it's streaming it. You don't have to download the whole thing, which makes sense. Oh yeah. But That's it'd a good be idea, nice actually. if they had a, a shuffle feature where it's like, Hey, let me try something new. And then just try something that I would never yeah, even think of trying. How Netflix, they, you know, shove suggestions and kind of in front of your face. Maybe Xbox yep. could, I would assume their algorithm would be that good. Be like, Oh, we see that you like to play RPGs or first person shooters. Here's a couple more that you might be interested in. Was there uh, anything else they showed off at the show that you were excited on? There was a few others, but um, for I me did, at least. I did laugh pretty, pretty hard. We'll see if it's on here at all. Um, so Outer Worlds, if you're enjoying that, that is getting a expansion. So DLC. That'll be nice. Uh, let's see. Psychonauts 2. Awesome. Yeah, Again, that looks like it's going to be Game fun. Pass. It's like... It's basically going to a movie, seeing all the trailers of that movie, and having to only spend one movie ticket price to see them all. It's, it's freaking a, sweet. Yep. Um, I don't think I see it in here. Let me just scan it real quick. Just a side note here. Any Destiny fans out there, if you're still playing or anything like that, it is cool. Yes, Destiny is free to play, which is awesome that they did that after getting, getting rid of Activision. But mm-hmm. the biggest thing of reason, or just the biggest reason why... I'd I would try to play this on Game Pass instead. Yeah, you're paying the five bucks a month, whatever. You technically paid for a free game, but their expansions are coming uh, to this game, and you didn't have to pay for any of those. Like, you paid the five bucks. That's I think that's fair, because typically these expansions for this game are about, you know, 15, or the new one coming out, this Beyond Light, is about 40 bucks. And that one actually comes out in, I think, November, and that will be, that'll hit game pass with it so, you just get them with game pass exactly the one yep. one caveat uh, i had to dig into a little bit was uh typically the xbox console version will get that whereas they're still working on destiny getting the expansions to the pc group so mm-hmm. that'll be a year later i believe so just just keep that in mind but um, i do gotta say that i mean they again another game they didn't show much for but Mm-hmm. They showed enough to make it look beautiful. The Forza game. Those always look beautiful, though. Yeah, and I'm kind of glad, though, because if you notice, they don't have a release date with it. No. So I'm completely fine, personally, of them taking their time with that game. Yeah. It's going to be uh, 4K60, so yeah. solid. Yeah, you'll you'll love that if you love racing games, for sure. Um, I'm just kind of showing this avowed here. New RPG from Obsidian. Kind of interested in it. Kind of reminded me of Skyrim-esque a little bit. Just with the first person aspect of it and some fantasy stuff going on. Um, other than that... Oh, the, I thought this one was super cool when they shot the arrow across. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I thought this game looked pretty pretty cool too. So before this, Obsidian showed off their kind of... I don't really know if it's like a side project. They're taking it pretty seriously. So it's just, I guess, a normal project. But it's called Grounded. Grounded? Yeah. And yeah, it's basically Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. Um, Survival crafting game. Yeah, exactly. You're crafting, but you're like smaller than the blade of grass. So those those are my those are my uh, my bread and butter. I love survival crafting games. Yeah, I just laughed though that they said in their trailer, "Are you looking for the biggest game of the year? Well, <laughs> that'll be Cyberpunk. Wait for that yeah. to come out." This is the smallest game of the year, and I just love when developers don't take themselves so seriously. So they just have fun with it. Exactly. And, yeah. Yeah, that made me laugh too. It was good. I was like, oh, sweet, free promotion for Cyberpunk. Grounded <laughs> comes out, out though in like five days. Okay. Yeah, it drops uh, July twenty eighth. Oh, sweet! I'm super excited for that. I'll actually probably end up picking that up, depending on how much it is yeah. after reviews, and then. So that drops here soon. I was going to say, if that's the case, uh, let's type in Xbox Summer Game Fest here. So go into a Polygon article here. So what this is, Summer Game Fest, it started on July 21st, and I believe goes until the 27th. And Yes, so right there. 21st, 27th. Mm-hmm. More than 70 game demos for players to download between that time. That is awesome. Wow. 
Wait, 70? Yeah, 70 game demos. That just like took me a second to register. I'm like, wow, that is that is awesome. Yeah, so obviously, you know, if you happen to be watching this or anything like that, like, hey, if you want to try any of these out, go for it. A couple of them they list here. Destroy All Humans. Uh, that was an awesome old school title. Yeah, just, that was a sweet oh, title. Literally just blowing stuff up. Uh, and then Skatebird. So basically is what it is it's a bird that skateboards so <laughs> which is pretty cool <laughs> again just, they're demos they're not gonna it's cost like, you anything if you already have the xbox and try it out they've been making a lot of weird games like that like the untitled goose game and uh, oh yeah honk yeah 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 but it's, it's pretty cool i like they're fun they're just like fun little like feel-good games yeah i was gonna say you gotta have you know, you change your pace from your call of duties or your maddens or anything like that i feel like you gotta have a break every so often and Stuff like this, free free yeah. demos. Um, you know, giving Game Pass a try is nice. Uh, I know for me at least, even if you don't want to spend that ten bucks a month or something, uh, if you're familiar with Reddit at all or use it, obviously you can go find some codes there. People are giving those mm-hmm. away all the time. Yep. So it's out the, there. If like you're uh, free yeah. three months and that kind of stuff. Yeah, the fourteen week trial or anything like that. Yeah, people are always giving that stuff away. Those. Those go so fast, it's ridiculous. Yeah, oh yeah. But But yeah, that was uh that was pretty much their event. It was uh it was eventful. Uh they showed a total of what, twenty two or thirty two games? They showed quite a bit. Say. They showed at least yeah, at least twenty games. Um, yeah. from when I got down. Um but yeah, other than that, we're still waiting on that price. Still waiting. Which rumored to be August, I believe, but Yeah. We'll, we'll, and then maybe we'll get Lockhart at the same time. That's yeah. not even confirmed yet. Yeah, nothing. None of that's. Well, Grant, I guess Fable wasn't even confirmed, but you got to have a strong belief at some point, which I kind of do. So, so last little thing I wanted to throw in, uh, I had actually read this this morning, was that the Xbox Series X uh, release date might have been leaked. Okay. So they set a uh, they set a release date for Yakuza Like a Dragon. And it's apparently supposed to be a launch title for the Series X, and it's uh, releasing November thirteenth. So people are thinking that that might be the release date for the Xbox Series X. So keep that date in your mind, and uh, we'll see. We'll see. It makes sense if you think about it. It's about mid-November. Uh, yeah, that would make a lot of sense. Uh, yep. Got to get it before. I guarantee it. I'll put money on this one. It's before Black Friday for sure. Oh, yeah, definitely. You got to get rid of those old consoles, um, which is nice in a sense, too, because let's say you don't mm-hmm. have the whatever we're guessing, you know, that five, six hundred bucks. You pick up a Xbox One X or even S series, which, yes, all these names might sound confusing to some people that are listening to this or watching whatever. Um, yeah, we'll break that down for you when it eventually gets released, just so you can pick the right one. Yeah, but, that way you know what to get. Other than that, Xbox is supporting all of them. Just how how good do you want your game to perform or look for the most part? Mm-hmm. So, but uh, they're saying that it it's either going to be the thirteenth or it's going to be November sixth. So we will see. Um, I have my money on the thirteenth personally. I think that just fits perfectly for the release of the new console. What about um, October? I'm just throwing October. It I'm I just throwing I think it that's out a little there. Early. Is that too early? Okay. <laughs> I think that's a little early. I'm not sure. When did the Xbox One launch? Uh, release date for... Uh, November 22nd. Ah, okay. So that 13th one could be... That could be about could right. Could be right it's, on the money. I could see that, that yeah. window. At least that week. Um, oh, other than that... PlayStation 4, all the same. They're all in November. Even PlayStation 3 there was in oh, November. Wait. When was when did PlayStation Four drop? November fifteenth. Oh, so we're guessing second week of November. All right, that's roughly what I'm thinking. Okay. So save up your money. Yeah, we yeah. we have a rough estimate of when it's going to come out. I was gonna say save up your money, start uh, start making that PowerPoint for your your parents or anything like that. You know, <laughs> this is why I need this console. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> um, or obviously, if it's reversed, if it's if you're the parent somehow watching this kind of thing, and little Timmy, you know for a fact is going to ask for one of these, uh, prep yourself. <laughs> so yeah, because it's gonna it's not gonna be cheap. No, you're gonna you're gonna have to sell a kidney or something, you know. Yeah, fork but, over quite a bit of dough. Yeah, 
But I think that uh, pretty much wraps up this week. What yeah. did you say, Joe? Uh, I feel like you guys are all updated. Again, please subscribe to our channel if you want to stay updated. Helps us out a lot. Also, mm-hmm. share this video with anyone who might be interested in some of these things or just, you know, you want them to stay updated too. We'll be, yep. we'll, we'll gladly do that for them. Yep. You have any questions for us too? Leave them down in the comments. Uh, we're willing to answer. And um, yeah, any feedback as well? Leave it right down there in the comments. Uh, other than that, I think that's it. Yeah. You've been teched out. We'll see you yep. next week. <laughs>